In Japan, Muji is short form for no label, good quality. Muji is a Japanese retail company selling a wide variety of household and consumer goods, ranging from stationery and clothing to kitchen appliances and furniture. It was established in 1980 based on the concepts of design minimalism, recycling, avoidance of waste in production and packaging, and a no logo policy. To date, it has over 300 stores in Japan and over 400 worldwide. Muji's direct competitors are Gap for casual wear, IKEA and Uniqlo for affordable furniture, and Walmart for other household products. Muji's success can be explained by looking at the systems of innovation in which it was founded. Since the end of World War II, Japan was committed to rebuilding the country. Reverse engineering, redesigning processes, and making incremental innovations to improve productivity became national priority. With government support, a tough patent system, unique suppliers' network, and proximity to design institutes in Tokyo, Muji's simple but functional designs rose to become national favorites in the early 1980s. What we do not see, however, is that underlying Muji's creative products is a thoughtful corporate philosophy and unique innovation strategy. Muji's corporate philosophy has three elements creating value for customers. Creating growth and creating partnerships with suppliers and third parties. This philosophy feeds into its unique innovation strategy, which can be described as a managed but active fifth generation open innovation strategy. Muji's management has an attitude of openness and experimentation that allows it to constantly explore new products, markets, and procurement methods through both internal and external innovation sources. These efforts are, however, coordinated in house to minimize risk, hence, what we call a managed but active innovation strategy. In its marketing strategy, Muji can be regarded as a radical and a market leader. Its no brand philosophy means little money is spent on advertisements. Much of its success rests on the word of mouth, a simple shopping experience, and the rise of the anti brand movement since the 1980s through influential authors such as Naomi Klein and more recently Muji's lead designer Shoji Ito. Muji's innovation strategy is evident in the way it organizes its operations. In the first product design stage, Muji not only has a small team of designers in house, but also collaborates with other companies or individual designers such as Enzo Mary from Italy. An example of collaboration with industry is the Muji Car 1000, jointly produced with Nissan Motors with the aim of using recycled materials and improving fuel efficiency. Muji also actively interacts with the market and customers. The public can express their views by submitting postcards, contact memos, and through the internet. Muji receives more than 6,500 suggestions a month by postcards alone. Muji has also experimented with an alternative business model known as design to order, collective customer commitment. It directly asks what customers want, secures purchases in advance, and then proceeds to manufacture the product. Many products were born this way, including the best selling beanbag sofa. Finally, Muji reaches out to external sources of innovation by organizing an international design competition known as the Muji Award. Further downstream in production, there is other evidence of Muji's overarching innovation strategy. This is embodied in its four basic product development principles. Firstly, diligent material selection. Muji often selects material that is either overlooked or thrown away as waste by other firms. A famous example is Muji's U shaped spaghetti, made from spaghetti ends that are chopped off by manufacturers to make them straight. Secondly, you see what you get, which emphasizes the lack of fancy packaging for Muji's products. Thirdly, efficient production processes. Typical of Japanese lean manufacturing, Muji aims for elimination of waste and conservation of resources. For example, Muji paper is made without cosmetic bleaching. And this paper is used for all labeling and packaging. Finally, developing the right product in the right place through sourcing and procurement on a global scale. 
To become a truly global and sustainable business, Muji needs to overcome a number of hurdles. Most fundamentally, it needs to manage the risks in new product development. Will Muji one day completely adopt the open innovation model? How will it ensure its products do not lose a core design identity? The second hurdle is maintaining a globally coherent, consumer-centric innovation strategy. There is a tension between strictly pursuing a set of product aesthetics rooted mainly in Japanese culture and committing to put the needs of customers at the forefront of design. This tension must be resolved. The third hurdle is managing the operational risks of expanding internationally. These include material and supplier selection in new and unfamiliar environments and ensuring the local recycling and repair facilities exist for its products. The fourth hurdle is managing the risks of technology, firstly, in new product development, and secondly, in using Web 2.0 technologies for customer interaction. The final and fifth hurdle is management mentality. The openness to design ideas from external sources is commendable. However, Muji could embrace a greater adoption of technology in its products, which could leap into the radical and truly distinguish it from its competitors. This is the Muji of today. What will it be like tomorrow?